There was one day Robert De Niro said to me, he said, Lilo, tomorrow I want you to dress like you're going to church, wear a collared shirt, and uh, you know, I want you to dress, you know, I want you to dress nice. He said, we're gonna do a, what's called a screen test. Now, I didn't know what that was, but you know, he said, we're gonna do a screen test. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put you on film because film may make you look different, it may make you look, you know what I mean? Right. Um, and I said, yeah, no problem. I remember I wore black slacks, button down, white button down shirt, black shoes. And uh, you know, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. You know, at this point in time, I thought, you know, I'm C, I'm C. So I'm just sitting there, I'm so nervous. I'm just sitting there. And I got my father sitting next to me. And then I feel someone tap my shoulder. And I look, I said, hey, how you doing, man? And he said to me, he said, hey, how are you? He goes, I'm Phil Garbarino. He says, I'm reading for C also. He goes, it's me and you. When he told me that, I was like, oh wow. I guess I'm not the only, I guess I'm not the only guy. And I know he got to this point because he was good also. Right. There was something that got him to this point. Right. Phil Garbarino was the kid who shot Sonny at the end of the movie. Right. Initially, they were gonna make him see, and he was 21, so the movie would've been a little different. It would have been him at 21 and his friends would have been around that age right. also, so they would have been a little older. Um, who, by the way, is still a very good friend of mine to this day. Code three, help the radio, officer that. Shots fired. 5 a.m. December 10th, 2005. Off-duty New York police officer Daniel Anjoutegui responded to what sounded like a break-in at a neighbor's home. The burglary erupted into a gunfight with Brancato and his accomplice, which ended with the officer shot dead. We all remember Lilo Brancato. He was such a rising star. Acted with De Niro, James Gandolfini, but his career came to a screeching halt one night when he was involved in a crime that ended with a police officer dead. Do you feel like you got away with murder? I don't feel that I was directly responsible for the death. Obviously, a police officer is dead. I, I hate to use the word hate, but I'm gonna use the word hate. Yeah, most cops would be just flat out hate. He should still be in jail. He should have got the death penalty. He was villainized in the press immediately. According to the law, if you commit a felony and during the commission of, the, of said felony, somebody is killed. All parties are responsible. How you doing? My name is Lilo. I'm an addict. And you could just tell that this was this mother who just loved her son. She adopted him. Right. And maybe there's an Academy Award in his future. You never know. Biggie said it best. No any more problems. I went from the kid in, uh, you know, the Bronx Tale to, uh, you know, to a junkie. The true purpose of my life is to do what I just said, and that is to use the experience to help others. PBA president Patrick Lynch does not think he deserves it. The word had been out that legal had killed a cop. I, I certainly wasn't going to not be his friend. Just because it makes a horrible mistake, I, if you're a friend, you don't leave a friend. If he was a Leo Brancato, the FedEx guy, what if he got the same sentence in him? Uh, we don't think so. I think Lilo has a gift and got a gift from God. He f***ed his life up, but I don't think that gift left him. I think there's somebody out there that's going to put their hand out and allow him back into the scene. God does exist. And, you know, I try to go to church as much as possible. Thank God every day, every day of my life, before I do anything, I pray for at least 10 minutes to thank him for giving me the strength to become the person that I am today. You know, it's, you know, I owe it all to him. So, you know, here I am.